Okay, we're gonna do a little redfish fly. It's pretty simple. We're gonna wind this thing down the bend of the hook. About a third of the way down. Got a little rabbit strip we cut. Put a little pin on the bottom. You don't need to do that really. We're gonna tie it in right about up here, right at the bend. Get that in, try to get it straight. And then I'm gonna bend this down with my fingers. Try to get that thing turned and tie it down the bend of that hook. Lightly to start with to get it down straight on that bend. Okay. Take a look at it, adjust it if we need to. Get it straightened out. We can hold it there and start clamping down on it as we come back forward. Okay. This hook, this thing is gonna run hook up. We're gonna come in right here. And I'm gonna put a little piece of fin rat coon. Just a little kingfish blue. I want to give it a little bit of a crab look. Blue crab look. Not much. Pull some of these long ones out. It's just really going to cover this bend up a little bit. Tie it back right till it starts the bend and that'll lay it back on, on itself a little bit. Right here, I'm going to come in and put a couple foil legs. See them right here? We've got everything here at the shop. All right, we're going to come back up here to my starting point. I'm going to flip this thing back over and I'm going to tie these rubbers in, rubber legs in, right down the side. Uh, yeah. so, uh, I'll hook myself. <laughs> All right. Start back here. Take one down this side. Come back to our starting point. We'll trim this one we need. Now. All right, we got those in. I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of extra select crap. Um, Marabou. We'll just get a little piece out here. We're just going to rip this off the side. Make sure that down. Just a little past the hook. Come in here and grab it. strip on the other side. Try to get it about the same length. Super glue, zap a cap on that. Hold that in place. Now I'm going to cover that up with another little bunch of brown with this select marabou that you're going to strip off the side 
and the big stem, you can just sort of grab a punk chunk off and just sort of go from there. I just like to lick my fingers a little bit and it helps grab the excess out. Clean that up a little bit. I'm gonna run here where I'm gonna put my dumbbell lies. It's a medium dumbbell. I'm gonna put it in right back here, give myself plenty of room in the front for a weed guard. We're going to tie in a piece of tarantula brush EP. There's about six of them in a pack. Got one right here. I'm going to tie this in right here, right at the end of the marabou. Get it down good. Be careful when you get to that end of that wire, it'll cut your thread. Head right, put it right, thread right in front of that eye. I'm gonna start palmering this thing over. Try to push these back as you go. Put one right in front of the other. I like to put them pretty tight in there. Little Wilson said you should have caught me on the fly rod though. That's all right. Push those back every time you go around. Be careful of that hook point. Patrick, would you hand me that box thing over there? No, the, the big box with the point on it. Go all the way up to the front. Okay. Okay. Unwrap my line back to where I want it, right on the back side. Capture it. Lay it all back. Put a couple wraps in there. And go in front of the eyes. Come here and trim that off as close as I can. You'll need to take your bobkin, go through there and dig that out. Where they've all gone over the top of each other and get them all freed up all the way around. trim this thing in different ways you want, but I'm going to go ahead and just tie this off for a second. All right. I'm going to take that out and trim that up a little bit. I'm going to try to make this thing a little bit crabby. Shrimpy. You want to tie a wood booger first? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should I black? Yeah. Uh, kind of purple. Oh. 
when Wilson smacked a monster brown trout on the purple blooper, he said. We're having a suds and bugs tonight, so we're going to have people coming in and out. Something we do every month. Just get some beer and, and a cooler and open it up. And everybody after six o'clock sits around and does some tying and having a few beer. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of the deal. I'm gonna sort of push this material to one side and the other. I'm gonna try to make a sort of crab it out a little bit, make it look a little bit like a crab. You don't have to do that. If you want to square it up and just push a little more water with it, you can. And I'm just going to take all this stuff right here, just make a little trim and cut, knock some of those rubber legs down. Some people take and move those things to one side, but I think we've got enough wiggly on this thing. Turn it over. Look at this side. Just going to go a little bit at a time. You can't always cut some more, but you can't put it back. So, all right. I can come in here, trim down the little bit, the middle a little bit. And that'll help keep that stuff to the side. Check my bottom, do the same thing. Clean this up around the eye with that hook. Right here. I'll put my thread back on. The further you put these eyes back on the hook, the easier it is to flip that fly over. And I'll come back here. I'm going to use on this 30 hard mono. I like well, I can use two, or I'm just going to use one on this. Different ways of doing it. Sort of measure that out. I'm going to take a pair of. These are great little pliers right here with a little small nose. And go ahead and flatten that end off and sort of turn it a little bit. Just long enough to come up to right before that dumbbell eye. I'm going to start put it right here down the middle. Get that turn straight down the hood. Put my thread wraps right there. Make sure I got that thing pretty tight. And it's right there where I need to be. And I'm going to take it, pull it up with my finger, stick my finger behind it, and start building up a dam behind it. Put some tension on it. A little more. same time I'm trying to build up a little nose on it. I'll come in here and cut that thing just a little past so when that weeds and stuff hit it it will 
It'll miss. Flip it over. All right. Right here. I'm gonna come up front with it. Put a whip finish on it. I like to take a little clear cure or loon, one of the UVs, thin UVs, and put Dr. That up all around that, seal those threads off, get around the top and all the way down. Makes a nice finish on it. It's pretty tough. And that is done. Check it a little bit. Shram a little bit. I like to have them just a little smaller than the. Uh, but there's your nice redfish fly.